need to shut down the run? Use these quick adjustments to go ahead and shut down the run and force your opponent into the pass. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also the notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about a defensive strategy that you can use to actually shut down the run. Uh, a very common play that's actually been very effective against the run is the cover one hole. Now, because Madden 20 is showing, is, is actually panning out to be... Uh, the man coverage is being a little bit more, um, just better and tighter, and more difficult to uh, to uh, play against. You can go ahead and use a defense like this uh, and be successful and actually throw your opponent off. Now, we're going to make a couple adjustments to this, which is going to be a sellout completely to the run. So I don't necessarily recommend using this as your base defense, but if you run into a situation where you got an opponent that is running the ball continuously against you and you're just struggling to get a stop, you want to go ahead and use this. Because I went into the lab and I, I tried to go ahead and play around with some of the, the run fits uh, defenses and other other. Um, uh, previous Maddens, and this seems to be the only one that really reacts a little bit better. So uh, we're going to use the 34 odd because it is probably the most common defense in the game. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select uh, the cover one, uh, one hole. That's a defense. We want to have our uh, the hole or the yellow zone as our middle linebacker. That's going to help the defense a little bit. And we're going to use uh, basically outside handoffs to stretch the ball to the outside. So uh, this defense is actually is stock. It's fairly uh, fairly good. You know you've got all your guys manned up. One of the things you can do is just go ahead and show uh, the blitz to your opponent, and you're just going to use this guy right over the middle, and you're, you're going to watch uh, him attack. Uh, and you should probably have people in the fits, but I want to show you where you can make this defense a little bit more effective because what happens is if you do base align and show blitz, giving your opponent that type of look for for their major blitz. Uh, you also have an opportunity where you guys are not going to get, uh, not going to attack the ball correctly in the sideline. So I want to show you something and how you can beef this blitz up, or I'm sorry, this run defense up to make it more effective so you don't give up the sideline. So what happens with this defense, with the man-on-man -man coverage, man-on-man -man coverage used to actually make these guys play run fits, but as you can see, this guy actually plays the ball off, uh, off the side right here. He actually pulls off. You want him attacking the ball, and he's not attacking the ball right now if he's going on off to the right. A similar situation with this guy right here, uh, you can see he's actually taking in the, blo the block and he's barely attacking. Uh, it, not as nearly as bad as the other side, but uh, that's you want to go ahead and get these these corners in the run fits and actually playing uh, this uh, this defense. So one of the things I learned is that you can go ahead and, and hot route your outside corners into basically soft squats. So what you'll do is you hit your triangle or Y button, hi highlights the corner that you want to do that. Take the left stick and flip it off to the left. And the same thing um, on the right side, you want to do that. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to put uh, the defenders in soft squats and you're going to see that they're actually going to come and go be more aggressive towards the ball when uh, the, the run happens. So you can see right here, uh, the guy actually holds his block, uh, holds up that block a little bit better, and actually makes a play on the ball. Now I like to play uh, the, uh, the safety over the middle. Now notice too, look at these two guys right here. They slide in, they actually slide in and actually get on, on the inside of the of the the wide res the wide receivers. So they're not going to let those wide receivers actually go ahead and take on the blocks. They're going to shoot the gap. So let's see if you, if the defender actually shoots through there. He's going to get inside a leverage against that wide receiver, and this run fits is just going to be a little bit more it's just going to be better these guys are going to jump the fits a lot better if if with you put these guys in, in spots look at this guy over here on the back side remember how he's just playing around and he wasn't even paying attention now he's shooting the gap and he's going through contained so uh, that's why you want to put these guys into soft squats they're going to actually react better to the ball what's the downside obviously the downside is that you got these guys in soft squats but your opponent's not going to see that type of stuff. So let's just go ahead and run a pass play really quick and show you what happens if you get, get caught in a pass opposed to a run. So you're going to basically go ahead and set this run defense up. 
and you can see the corners actually come in. And you can see here uh, the run defense. These guys are out here to actually clean that up for us. So we're gonna run, we're gonna set this run defense up once again. We're gonna go ahead and take those corners and put them in soft squats. They slide in. And you can see right here, the guys actually carry on man-to-man -man coverage. So even though he takes off this quarterback, if the quarterback is not scrambler, uh, he, these guys are actually gonna go, go ahead and carry with their guys and play that man-to-man -man coverage. But the run fits are much better. So watch this guy, he goes ahead, and even though he actually got beat on the, uh, on the coverage, uh, he still was in that position to go ahead and play the ball. This, this uh, corner actually carries with this, this basically lock this guy off, or lock this guy down. And it's going to be uh, fairly effective against any kind of a pass and run. So you can see the guys slide in. And once again, uh, we're able to go ahead and get these guys uh, to go ahead and shut down that run. So this is going to put you in a situation where you're going to basically get uh, guys that are going to play more run fits. You're going to get better support out of your corners. The corners are going to come down and play the run fit. So this guy actually comes in right away and actually plays the run. Even though this is like a play action, he actually comes in and plays that run. And we're going to get the, this guy coming in and playing the run too. Uh, so it's going to give, give you a huge advantage on the run, run fits, and you want to go and test it. I would not use this as our base. I wouldn't use this as your base defense. I would probably go and use this if I need to go ahead and stop an opponent. This is one I'm actually going to use this if he's if he's using a lot of runs against me because I want to basically have uh, guys in position to go ahead and make plays for me. So guys, if you do like these type of tips, go ahead and hit the smash smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out more Madden tips for you guys to go and take a look at uh, soon enough. So go ahead and stay tuned on the channel. Once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.